So you got your brand new PSVR 2, you're super excited to put it on and get immersed in the worlds that VR has to offer. But once you get it on, once you get it all set up, you realize everything's out of focus. It's blurry, it's fuzzy, what's going on here? If this sounds similar to your experience, don't worry, you are not alone. I had the same experience and it seems like a lot of people are. So I'm making this video to hopefully help you at least rule out certain things with you know trying to get the blurriness and fuzziness out of the way. So if you do enjoy this video, leave it a like, it tells YouTube that you guys do find Find this kind of stuff useful if you don't like it let me know why so i can improve the content in the future without further ado let's jump into this so some of these might seem obvious now what might be obvious to you might not be for someone else so just bear with me and it doesn't hurt checking just in case the first thing is make sure the lenses aren't dirty yes it could be that the lenses inside of here get dirty now before you go using some kind of you know alcohol based kind of cl cleanser or cleaner or window cleaner or something like that don't do it you're gonna ruin the lenses there's a bunch of stuff online that talks about you know vr and lenses and how to properly clean them if you really do need some kind of moisture or something like that you can get some maybe official lens cleaner cleanser look it up okay playstation has their own guide on how to clean this stuff but the thing that i would say is use a microfiber cloth so these are the kind of cloths you get with you know eyeglasses these are the kind of things you might get with your your phone um those kind of things right these microfiber they're very kind of smooth and silky and and very nice uh, to touch to the touch so just take one of these go inside the lens here and just wipe it down just like you would wipe your eyeglasses down if you wear glasses so that's just it's really that simple make sure it's nice and clean there's no dust on there you know there's no kind of smudges or anything like that it happens it happens you might not realize it happened it, you know sweat gunk whatever give it a quick little wipe down with a microfiber cloth and you're good to go you can find some on amazon for pretty cheap as well and uh it's really that simple maybe you already fixed your your blurry problem just with that all right so number two uh glasses Wear your glasses. Now, if you don't wear glasses, maybe you need to wear glasses. Maybe you gotta go get your eyes checked. And I'm not just being funny here. It could very be very well be the case. Some people, you know, they don't have great eyes. They're nearsighted, meaning they can't really see from far. But you're probably wondering, wait a minute, if I'm nearsighted, that means I cannot see from far, right? Well, if I can't see from far, why would that matter in the VR? I mean, the lenses are pretty much up to your eyeballs, right? I'm telling you guys the weirdest thing. I didn't have my glasses on and everything was a little bit fuzzy, a little bit out of focus. I threw my glasses on, all of a sudden I could see so much clearer. I don't know why, I don't know the science behind it, okay? I guess it has to do with the depth uh, and the perception of depth that you know the VR is kind of portraying. Uh, all I know is that even though the lenses are right up to your eyeballs, uh, it will make the world of a difference. If you wear glasses, wear your glasses inside of this thing and you'll see so much clearer. And again, you know, it doesn't hurt to get your eyes checked. When's the last time you got them checked? It might be just that. Uh, and yes, there is room inside of this headset for your glasses. There wasn't in the PSVR 1 as far as I'm aware. I didn't have one, but that's what I heard. So this is the great thing about the PSVR 2 is they actually build it so you can wear your glasses inside. So it's really nice. Okay, so the next thing is making sure you're wearing this thing properly. Now, I know that seems kind of obvious, but there's actually a sweet spot with the PSVR 2 that I noticed that if it's a little bit too high or a little bit too low or something like that, you're gonna get a little bit of fuzziness. So make sure you kind of fiddle with it, you know, make sure it's on properly. There's a whole guide built into the PSVR uh, 2 settings on the actual PS5 console you can go through. I'll, I'll link down a guide on how to go through all the settings and they have chapters in them if you wanna see all the settings for the PSVR 2, which includes that. That, uh, and it teaches you exactly how to put it on but again you want to make sure that you, you know you have it adjusted right you know uh, the uh, actual lens part you know with the button on top is is the right you know uh, distance from your from your eyes that's a big thing uh, make sure that the, the the back of the strap is you know kind of snug you, you know you turn the little dial on the back to make sure it's you know it's nice and snug on your head it doesn't have to hurt your head just to make sure that you know it's not going to move all over the place when when you're moving all over the place uh, so that's another thing to make sure make sure that uh, like I said it's positioned right typically the headband will go a little bit back on your head uh, you know so typically I would find that most people's issues is that just kind of tilt the, the front up a little bit and tilt the headband down a little bit and that might actually fix your problems again you can go see a full kind of tutorial right in the playstation settings for the psvr 2 it'll teach you exactly how to uh, put this thing on maybe you skip that part or maybe you know you just need a refresher that'll greatly help you guys out again make sure it's on properly because there is a sweet spot to this thing that you know you got to get in that little kind of zone if you want the best clarity possible all right so the next thing is align the lenses now if you didn't notice there's a little dial on the top of your headset right here when you're wearing it's going to be on your left side 
And uh, that dial, when you spin it, it's actually going to adjust the spacing of the lenses inside the headset because obviously all of our eyes are different. All of our eyes have different spacing, different things like that. And if you actually go into the settings on the PSVR 2, so you're going into adjust visibility in the settings. If you go there, uh, you can actually adjust the, the lenses and it's going to make sure it's going to show you a diagram of a, a live diagram of your eyeballs inside of these circles. So it's going to be your eyeballs are going to be basically these kind of round circles inside of a bigger circle. The bigger circle is the lens and you want to try to center that as best as you can uh, and just try to focus on centering it and uh, once you kind of follow the instructions on screen you should be good to go again make sure that those are centered because that was the big issue I had at first when kind of putting this thing on and everything was blurry even going through the settings at first I'm like whoa <laughs> everything's a little bit weird I can't I could barely read this uh, and so that's that's going to help you greatly make sure the lenses are set to your eyes because again everybody has different eyes every everybody has different spacing between their eyes and again you could do this under adjust visibility in the psvr2 settings on your console so again this it's there for a reason my friends so the next thing is to adjust the eye tracking again this could be done in the settings and the eye tracking is going to be a setting that you're going to go in and it's basically going to have a black screen at first it's going to have a little kind of i think it's like a red dot if I remember correctly and it's going to ping around the screen and you got to follow it with your eyes make sure you follow it with your eyes everywhere it goes until it's done then it's going to do it again but with a brighter screen so it's going to be a white background this time with a, a darker kind of a uh, little dot and you got again you're gonna to have to follow with your eyes all over the place with, with that dot and then you can also see after on the on the screen where there's these little dots kind of like in a, in a, in a circle that whenever you look at them they should light up uh, indicating that the eye tracking is working that it knows that you're looking there also if you you know close one eye or if you blink or if you close both eyes it'll show that's happening as well in this kind of calibration menu now the reason for this you may be wondering is uh, eye tracking is used in a lot of the PSVR 2 games uh, for things called I got to read it because I forget how to how to explain it foveated rendering is basically a technology that focuses the bulk of the ps5's power uh only on the things that you're looking at uh so you may not notice it but basically your peripheral view is going to be out of focus i guess it's kind of like real life in a way anyways and it helps with the processing power and all that good stuff so again if the eye tracking is not right then that the focus might not be right because if it, if it doesn't think that your eyes are in the right spot if he thinks your eyes are somewhere else then it's going to be blurry where you're actually looking because the the eye tracking thinks you're looking somewhere else do you know what i mean so make sure the eye tracking is calibrated correctly and then you should be good to go and that might hopefully solve your solution or your problem not your solution it's the solution to your problem i don't know grammar sometimes it's hard well, my friends, if all else fails, if you've done all these things, like I said, there may be just be a possibility that maybe you don't you don't know that you need glasses and it's worth getting your eyes checked, getting a, a test done and seeing that, you know, maybe you do need prescription glasses that will help you out. Uh, maybe you already wear glasses or you know for sure that, you know, you don't need any glasses. You've got them checked recently and you got great vision uh, and you know that's not the case. And you've tried everything else. You've cleans, cleaned, cleaned, cleansed, whatever. You've cleaned the lenses. Uh, you've adjusted all the tracks the eye tracking and you've calibrated everything you know you're wearing the headset correctly you've done everything we talked about in this video and for some reason you know it's still not working right again do make sure though because like i said there is a sweet spot so make sure that you know the headset's on right you know it's it's close enough to your face you know it's in at the right position you know again you're pulling the front you know forward and backwards with the button on the top uh make sure that's good you know the the spacing between the eyes right the lenses uh the spacing all of that you know like i said make sure that the headset is properly adjusted because if it's too low or if it's too high it's going to be out of focus it's going to be blurry uh make sure the eye tracking is in if all that's good you've, you've really kind of done your due, due diligence there might just be a chance that you have a faulty unit and maybe at that point you need to contact PlayStation support uh, because as far as I know there's not really any other options like I said you know maybe the lens itself is, is damaged on the inside maybe there's something going on there uh, but like I said be very careful don't put anything wet on the lenses because that could be a recipe for disaster again make sure you check all of the official stuff online before doing anything like that the most I, I can recommend is using like I said a microfiber cloth to clean the lens don't 
don't start washing it down with soap and water and anything like that or anything crazy because you're going to ruin the lens and that's not going to be good so i hope this helped you out like i said if for some reason it didn't contact playstation support and hopefully they can help you get sorted out uh but hopefully it it, it fixed your problem if it did let me know because i'd love to hear that you know this at least helped you out if it didn't still let me know because i'm curious to see you know who it helped and who it didn't so if you enjoyed the video stick around for more and i'll see you soon in another one until then game on see you guys later mm -hmm.